friends, um, this is Annika and I am working on cutting some glass for my mirrored console table and I thought it would be a good opportunity to do a video to uh, sh demonstrate just how easy it is to do this and also to give you guys a tutorial if you would like to try it yourself. It really is super simple and the only tool that you really need to do this is this diamond scribe and I will have a link for this uh, in my blog post. And the other things that you need for it is, of course, safety. Um, we need uh, safety glasses and, of course, a dust mask because you do not want to be inhaling all the glass dust over here. The third thing that we really need are these gloves to protect your hands and fingers from any glass or mirror shards, etc. So. So right now to start off with I'm not going to be wearing the gloves because I get a better grip and more control of the scribe without the gloves but when I actually go in and pick it up I will be uh, wearing the gloves. So to start with on my mirror here on the back of my mirror I have a line that uh, where I need to cut it. So to start I am going to place a straight edge on it. Oh, and the other important thing is to make sure that your work surface is completely clean. So every time you go to cut a piece of mirror or glass, you have to wipe it down very nicely. So let's start. I am going to place my straight edge right here where I need to cut it. Hold it steady. Now I'm, on, I'm using a one by two as my straight edge because I found that it gives me better control and more uh, and I'm able to hold it more steady. I was trying to use rulers earlier and they were just not staying steady and also uh, they tend to get damaged with the diamond scribe more easily if you happen to you know uh, move your hand etc. So let's start keep it steady and here we go. Now of course this is a mirror so we are have these coatings in the back and it takes a little a few times for the scriber to go through the coatings but once it does you will start to hear a change in the sound there you go did you hear that there you go so you hear a change in the sound and of course it feels a lot rougher too. Now this is a 1 8 inch thick mirror and I have found that about 30 times uh, going over it is good enough to give it a clean, clean break. So let's do this. One. Two. Three. Four, five. Oops, see? Be careful, don't move it. Six. Now, another important thing is that you have to make sure that you go towards all these corners, both these corners, because if you don't go all the way to the ends, then your break will not be clean. Okay. Eight. Nine. 23, 24. Now the pressure I have is uh, really steady. I'm not putting too much pressure on it, but it's a really steady, firm pressure. 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Okay. Now, put your gloves on. mirror or glass and oh, oh, use your handy dandy baby wipe to wipe off all the dust glass dust pick up your mirror and snap it and there you have it a nice clean break
Oh, and let me show you, since we're talking about uh, cleaving mirrors, so I told you that you have to make sure you go to each of the corners, because if you do not do that, this is what will happen. If you don't go all the way to the corners, your break will not be even. And because the scribe did not scribe it evenly at the corners. So there you have it. And really easy. And of course, I have to do 24 mirrors, so it's going to take me a while. So, all right. Thank you for watching. And uh, make sure to click on the link for my blog post and read about exactly how I went about creating my mirror console.